Hello and welcome to Valavision News. I'm Jonathan Weed and thank you so much for watching. Today is the deadline to register to vote in next month's election. You have until 11.59 tonight to register online. To fill out the voter registration forms, go to alabamavotes.gov. According to the Alabama Secretary of State's website, there are almost 3.7 million registered to vote in Alabama. Across the country, many are voting by mail or taking advantage of other early voting options. So far, there are more than 22 million votes that have already been casted. Here in Alabama, the ability to vote absentee has been extended to all voters, with the state recognizing COVID-19 as a valid excuse. UM political science professor Dr. Andrea Eckelman says this will encourage voter turnout. In states with early voting, you're going to see more people doing that rather than waiting till election day, right? Because if you wait till election day, particularly if you live in a larger city or something like that, you're running the risk of lines and potential exposure, right, to the virus. Alabama's in-person absentee voting in continues until October 29th. That is also the deadline to request a mail-in absentee ballot. And be sure to mark your calendar for election day, which is Tuesday, November 3rd. It's time to start thinking about the tw spring 2021 semester. Advising is already underway. Registration opens for graduate students on Monday, October 26th, seniors on Wednesday, October 28th, juniors on Friday, October 30th, and the following week, sophomores start registering Tuesday, November 3rd, and freshmen on Thursday, November 5th. Turning to our ongoing COVID coverage, the global count of coronavirus cases passes now 40 million. As COVID-19 infections continue to soar across the U.S., Experts say the following public health measures is the way out of the crisis. Camilla Bernal has a look at the current situation. The predicted fall surge is here, according to some health experts. If we don't take this seriously now, we are going to find ourselves in a very difficult position in just weeks to, to maybe a month or so. Worldwide, more than 40 million people have tested positive for COVID-19. We have an increasing number of positive people. And while cases are increasing in Europe, cities in Spain, the UK and France are resisting centralized efforts to impose tighter regulations. The current time is about action, is about unity, is about solidarity. But with cases surging in Wales, the first minister is implementing a two week shutdown. This firebreak is the shortest we can make it. But that means that it will have to be sharp and deep in order to have the impact we need it to have on the virus. Though the U.S. is now averaging 55,000 new cases per day, Dr. Anthony Fauci says a nationwide lockdown is not the way forward. We can get control at the same time without shutting down. This despite the COVID fatigue universal wearing of masks, keeping a distance, avoiding congregate settings. I'm Camila Bernal reporting. UM is seeing an increase in COVID cases. Here's a look at the latest numbers from our UM's COVID task force. There are currently nine positive student cases. Three of those students are in isolation on campus. Another 20 students are in quarantine. Seven of those students are quarantining on campus. Three university employees have tested positive and now are working remotely. Five more employees are working remotely due to close contact. The pandemic is changing the look of one of UM's most notorious philanthropy events. Alpha Gamma Delta's Lip Jam will be virtual this year. Alpha Gamma's philanthropy chair, Abby Self, explains how fraternities and sororities will compete in this year's competition. They, they'll film themselves doing like a choreographed number to a song, like one or more songs from that movie. 
and um, and then they'll submit the video and we're going to judge them. The theme for this year's online lip jam is Disney movies. Alpha Gam will live stream the event Tuesday night. UM Volleyball's team is facing challenges because of COVID. Although their fall season has been postponed, the team continues to practice. In addition to university and athletic department rules, the team takes extra precautions, including wearing masks during practices, social distancing when possible, and rotating our equipment. Assistant coach Jace McCown believes the experience will strengthen the team and remains positive about the upcoming season. I really hope that we get a chance to play and have a season and the world kind of can get back to a safer, better place once this is all over. The team hopes to start their official season in the spring. You can give the gift of life this week. SGA is hosting a blood drive this Thursday from 10 to 5 in front of the CAF. COVID safety precautions will be enforced with both donors and those working at the blood drive. Contact the SGA for more information. Remember that there's always more news 24-7 on our social media pages. Just search for Val Vision News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for, uh, for more stories throughout the week. Still ahead on the Val Vision News, the holiday shopping season is here. How consumers already shattered online shopping records during this year's Amazon Prime Day. Plus, get your resume ready. You can become Ramen's chief noodle officer. Find out how to apply. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Valavision News. Amazon says this year's Prime Day was a record setter. The Seattle-based company announced last week's Prime Day was the two biggest days ever for small and mid-sized businesses. Amazon says sales rose above $3.5 billion, close to 60% higher compared to last year. The annual online shopping extravaganza was scheduled for July, but it was pushed back this year due to the pandemic. Zoom is launching a new option for people who want to hold virtual events and charge for them. It's called On Zoom. The video chat platform says this feature will help users grow businesses and reach new audiences. Each On Zoom live stream can have up to 1,000 attendees. If public, your event will be set up in a directionary for people to search, and you can even sell tickets to them. Many college students live off of ramen. And if you really have a passion for the noodles, Nissan, the maker of ramen, is looking for a chief noodle officer. You get paid $10,000 for your passion with noodles and to develop and test out a new ramen noodle soup recipes. Plus, you get a 50-year supply of ramen products. Post a picture and recipe of your own to uh, your own top ramen noodle creation to social media for your chance to be selected. Use the hashtag How do you top ramen? You have to act fast. Submissions are only being accepted until October 30th. And finally today, just in time for the holidays, collectors have the chance to own the stars of one of the most iconic TV specials of all time. Two of the figures used for the animated 1964 stop-motion Christmas classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, are going back to the auction block. The 11-inch tall Santa and 6-inch tall Rudolph are expected to sell for as much as a quarter million dollars. The auction is set for November 13th. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Remember that there's always more news 24-7 on our me social media pages. Just search for Valovision News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more stories throughout the week. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to tune in to Valovision News next week.